Welcome to Indie Game Month Day 13. Today we are going to create the Party Slime from Slime Rancher. I've played Slime Rancher a lot through the years, and I would still agree that Slime Rancher is an amazing game. No matter how many times I play it, there's still something fun to do, even if I've done it 20 times before. Since this character is going to be pretty big, I wanted to use some old junky clay that I couldn't really use for anything else. So this is my newest clay tool, the Arbor Press. And this thing is super nice for softening old hard clay. It probably would have taken me near an hour and a lot of pain to soften this clay by hand up to this point. After getting the basic shape of my slime, I'm going to coat it with the pink clay that I mixed at the beginning of the video. I've made a few different Slime Rancher videos already, so I thought I would try something new. Instead of just creating some more slimes, I would create a Gordo slime, which is basically just a massive version of the slimes. You have to feed it a bunch of food depending on what its favorite food is, and then it explodes into some slimes and some extra treasure. But the party slime, however, is a special slime that you can only find on the weekends, and you have to find out which location it's in. I'm not sure how many different locations you can find it in, maybe it's somewhere around 20? For me, it's always fun trying to find this party slime and seeing what kind of treasure it gives you. These slimes have pretty basic facial expressions, so I'm just going for a nice little smile. Now, stars are one of my biggest troubles. I have a very hard time, as you can see, drawing a star, and an even harder time cutting one out with clay. So hopefully I can use this little paper star as a stencil to put on top of the clay. The reason I'm creating these stars is for the party glasses. It wouldn't be a party slime without party glasses and a party hat. And this slime goes all out on the party. I'm going to use this star as a stencil to create the other star. So by lightly putting this on top of the second layer of clay, we can still remove it and keep the shape of the first one. In the center we have the lenses of the glasses, which is a nice bright purple. We have another small dotted section here with a darker green. And let's create the center of the glasses. I'm going to put these just straight onto the face and kind of just build up the glasses that way. With our glasses complete, we can move on to the party hat. I first created a nice little cone for the hat, and I'm cutting off the bottom to make it be able to sit on top of the head. Now we're gonna take some green and make some little polka dots all over the hat. On the top of the hat we have these little tassels, or streamers. I cut out all of these tiny little worms and just sort of randomly placed them on there, and I can move those around with a knife to give them more of a flowing motion. With the hat on the head, our slime is ready to party. But since I love Slime Rancher so much, I decided to not stop here and keep going by creating a base. So I'm creating a nice little rocky environment, which I feel like represents the game pretty well. I didn't exactly have an idea in mind here, and I didn't go off of any reference pictures. I just sort of started carving rocks and placing them on until I liked how it looked. I've never quite made rocks in this way, usually I form them with my fingers, but I think that you can get some nice jagged edges using a knife like this. About halfway through creating this base, I realized that I want to add in some little slimes, so I started making these little platforms that they can sit on top of. I also took a darker brown for a nice little variation of rocks, and sort of randomly scattered those throughout the base. I made sure the middle of the base was empty though, since we need a lot of room for the party slime. I'm going to create some little basic pink slimes to be enjoying the party, but I'm not going to do the whole party glasses and party hat for all of these. And I also decided to add in a little variation to the slime's face. 
Let's get these onto the little pedestals, and I guess we'll just stick this other one on the ground here. Now let's put our big boy right in the middle, and we are ready to get bait. After baking, we can remove it from the tray, and here it is, the Party Slime from Slime Rancher. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure to check out the playlist at the end, which is updated every day with a new indie game character. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.